guys. Oh man, dude. <laughs> What'd you do? I broke my ankle. I almost cried. I can still cry. <laughs> Thank you. This is literally purely bad luck. It was just time. The it's just thing, bad luck, dude. <laughs> right? Like we weren't even playing when you hurt yourself. Dude. We had already done all the craziest stuff. He doesn't dude. get hurt doing the crazy oh, stuff. So dumb. You can't. It's not like you can tell Chester like stop skiing. You keep getting hurt. It's like no. He's skied for eight hours and then he walks in and slips on a banana peel. <laughs> like, really? That's what took you out like that? Dude, here's, here's a list of the things that have taken me out and hurt me the most in my life. Tinker toys. Yeah. I was sitting on the floor, legs crossed, lean forward, L4 tears. Have to be in a walker for three months. Oh. Well, I used a walker for a month and a cane for three total. I was in rehab for like three years for that. Just leaning forward, sitting Just down? Just leaning forward. Playing finger toys. I was cross-legged and I leaned forward to pick up a piece. Oh. And I couldn't walk for a month. <laughs> Threw a golf ball, had to have two surgeries as a result of that debacle. Tore my labrum, had surgery, got really strong, was out in the crowd, fans trying to take the microphone. I pulled back, ended up pulling him and another person up out with me. Tore my bicep tendon and had to have that removed, oh. put somewhere else. Broke my arm on stage, bad timing on a jump. Yeah, in Australia. So rather than just fucking jumping one beat late, I decided to take the quick route and try to jump off the thing. My toe gets stuck underneath the stair, I could fall backwards, break my wrist. Five days later, hit myself in the face with a tennis racket. Oh. Put the top of the tennis racket through my face right here. Like literally, a dime sized slice all the way through. Just on a rebound? Brad has a killer serve and I ran out to the back. 